answer your phone right now. Sorry, I missed your call. Is something wrong? I can't believe my son married you. How clueless are you? Don't you know basic manners? Maybe you didn't know, but when someone misses a call, they usually call back as soon as possible. I'm really sorry about that. It's just that right now, I can't make phone calls. I'm swamped with meetings at work. Is there something you need to tell me that you can't overtext? Yes, for heaven's sake. Now you get it. For lunch today I want a grilled chicken salad. I don't know any of the restaurants around here. I have no idea which ones are good or bad. Could you search online for a good restaurant, then go and get a salad and bring it to me? It's not that hard. Isn't googling things supposed to be your specialty? Are you kidding me? You want me to do all that right now? Right now, I'm really busy with work. Can I get it for you later for dinner? Did you not read my texts? I said I wanted it for lunch, didn't I? I'm sorry, Gwen, but I have no choice. I wish I could do that for you, but I'm in the middle of work. I'm on break, so that's why I've been able to text you. But I have to go back soon. After my break time, I'll be working non-stop until the evening. Can you please wait until work is over to go and get it? I know it's a long wait, but I promise I'll get it from wherever you want. Ugh, I can't believe you don't get it. As my daughter-in-law, my comfort and happiness should be your top priority. If I ask you to do something, you need to do it right away. But I really want to go get you that, but right now I'm really busy. You're worthless, aren't you? I had a bad feeling about you from the moment I saw you. But now I know that you're absolutely worthless. What? What do you mean by that? Cindy, don't you work from home? Can't you pretty much work whenever you want? You said they're very flexible. Most days aren't you just lounging at home on your laptop? If that's the case, then it should be no big deal to go pick me up a chicken salad. Can't you just order it online and then go and get it? You can do it all online now, right? Oh, did Brian tell you that? Well, it is true that I could probably order delivery for you, but to be honest, I would rather if you did that yourself if you're in such a hurry. Excuse me? Why are you making such a fuss about this? And the time I've been texting, couldn't you have already done it? It's just. Whenever I've gone and done those things, I've always had to pay for it with my own money. You never once offered to pay me back. That's what's bothering you? Why are you so stingy about the cost of it? If it makes your mother-in-law happy, then you shouldn't have any complaints about it. I'm really sorry again, but I honestly can't go and do that right now. If that's something you really need right now, could you ask Brian if he can? Really? You must be joking. Like I would ever make Brian run errands for me. Brian is the pillar of this family. He's the main earner, isn't he? Unlike you, this duty falls on you. Now go and get lunch for me. I just told you, I can't right now. I am really losing my patience with you. Cindy, how many times do I have to repeat myself? At this rate, I don't think you'll ever get it through your thick head. I guess I have no choice but to teach you a lesson on how to treat me. What are you talking about? Exactly what I said, you dimwit. If a daughter-in-law won't listen to her mother-in-law, then she needs some discipline, don't you think? In order for you to finally understand, I'm guessing I'll have to punish you when you disobey. You forced me to take this drastic measure. What do you mean by punishment? 
I can understand if you want to scold me on this, but punishment? What are you planning to do? Hmm, let's start with no TV for a week, shall we? It has to be something serious, right? This is a punishment that will really hurt you, won't it? You know that I always watch my shows after work. That's how I motivate myself to work hard at my job. I'm the kind of person who loves binge watching a series if I have the chance. Can you please forgive me this one time? I promise to do better in the future. I see you're finally getting it, aren't you? Now if you want to watch TV in peace this week, go ahead and buy me lunch right now. But I... Please, can you cut me some slack this one time? If you want, we could change your punishment. How about your ban from driving for a week instead? If you don't go and buy me lunch, you'll have to choose one of these two as your punishment, alright? What? That's also insanely harsh. Where we live now, I need a car to get anywhere. Isn't that basically confining me to the house? I don't like this. I don't like that. What a spoiled brat you are. I guess if that's the case, then you have no choice but to just go and buy me lunch like I asked. Stop whining and just hurry up and do it already. You can't be serious. Fine. I'll go and buy it right now. It should only take 30 minutes or so. Now, wouldn't that have been much easier if you just said that in the beginning? Maybe you've learned your lesson now. No matter what, you can't disobey me. I don't know if it will stick though. You're such a slow learner after all. I'm sorry I didn't go sooner. What do you want on your salad? Two grilled chicken salads, both with dressing on the side. Got it. Oh whoops. I forgot to tell you something. If you don't get my lunch to me soon, then I'll still have to give you one of the punishments we discussed earlier, okay? Don't even think about sulking or complaining or anything like that, got it? You're the one who wasted all of my precious time. Make sure you're here within the next 30 minutes. I don't know if I can get there that fast, but I'll try to hurry. Over one month later, you're truly the most worthless daughter-in-law I've ever seen. How did my neighbor get so lucky? I wish I had a daughter-in-law that's half as good as hers. What's wrong? Did I do something to upset you? The problem is that you don't do anything. You're lazy. Okay, seriously. What's going on? My neighbor said that she's going to Alaska with her daughter-in-law. Her daughter-in-law suggests that they go somewhere cool since it's been so hot lately. My neighbor said that her daughter-in-law invited her and everything. Wow, that's so nice of her. Alaska would be lovely this time of year. I've been there a few times. Are you really this dense? Huh? I'm not sure what I did, but I'm really sorry. Did you have something else you wanted to say? I can't believe this is happening. Can you not even follow or understand something as simple as this? Normally, daughter-in-laws invite their mother-in-laws to go have lunch together or take a trip together. You've never once done something like that. After what I said, the next thing from you should have been inviting me to do something like that. What? Really? I'm supposed to do that? Who else should do it? You should take this opportunity to try and learn from my neighbor's daughter-in-law about how to treat your mother-in-law. I'm really sorry, I didn't know. I hope it's okay if I ask. But why do you want to go on a trip? Your birthday was a couple of months ago, right? Honestly, I can't even have a basic conversation with you about anything. 
You don't even respect me as your mother-in-law, do you? There doesn't have to be any sort of special occasion for you to invite me on a trip or something. Have you ever thought about trying to build a good relationship with me? Knowing you, it probably never crossed your mind. I've started to wonder if there's anything in that head of yours at all. It seems completely empty to me. Oh, I think I get it now. I'm sorry I hurt your feelings, but that was never my intention. I should have invited you to do something. Yes, you certainly should have. Can you see why your actions would get off that impression? I wonder if you don't understand because you're a little immature. I see, I'm so sorry, I was careless. From now on, I hope you seriously spend more time thinking about how to make me happy. Yes, I promise I'll really take that into account in the future. Do you have any plans in about a month? If not, would you like to take a road trip? We could drive over to the next state and see some of the sights. I was thinking we could just decide on exactly what we wanted to do and stay when we get there. Would you look at that? It looks like you're now completely hopeless after all. That sounds fun. Let's go. Great. Now that I think about it though, there aren't really any nice hotels in that area we could stay at. Make sure you book us a room somewhere. One more thing. Make a place that actually has good room service. The world is such a dangerous place these days. Sounds good. I'll see what I can find. Anything else you want me to look for? Oh, and before I go too deep into this, how much do you want to spend on the trip? Spend. On what? Did I say something wrong? Of course you did. You're supposed to pay for everything on the trip. Wait. What? Hold on a second. Why do I have to pay for everything? Can't we just split the cost of the room and stuff? Absolutely not. My neighbor told me that her daughter-in-law paid for their whole trip, and she didn't have to worry about anything. Their trip was much more expensive than this road trip. You're getting off easy. You're so cheap, you know that? How did you even get married? You must be living off Brian's money, right? Then you can afford to pay for this trip. Please don't say that. I'm not living off Brian. We both contribute to our living expenses. It would be hard for us if I had to pay for everything. Don't lie to me. I know you have enough money to pay for this trip with both of your salaries. Maybe, but that's not fair. Fair? Who cares about fair? You owe me this much after all I've done for you. You just admitted that you have enough money, didn't you? Then it's settled. You're paying for everything. Wait a minute. This was my idea, remember? I'm the one who's doing all the research, planning, booking, everything. You're not doing anything for this trip. And now you want me to pay for everything too? How dare you talk back to me? Well, you better watch out next time I see you. Watch out. What do you mean by that? Are you gonna hit me again? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Can we just forget about this? Fine. Then use the money that you're stealing from my son and pay for this trip. I can't wait to brag about this to my neighbor. You're finally acting like a real daughter-in-law. Okay, enough already. You don't have to rub it in. And for the record, I'm not stealing from Brian. I never have and never will. But fine, I'll pay for everything this time. 
I hope you enjoy the road trip. Of course I will. Thanks for paying. Maybe if this trip goes well, we can get along better. Yeah, sure, whatever you say. I'll let you know when I have some options for you to choose from. I'll be waiting. Three weeks later. We're on our way. Leaving the house now. Almost there. Why aren't you picking up? Is everything okay? Oh, oops. Sorry about that. I was so busy getting everything ready. It's okay. I'm glad you're excited. The weather is amazing today. Perfect for a road trip, right? Oh, absolutely. I was afraid it would rain. I've been looking forward to this so much. I've been telling my neighbor all about it. Oh, by the way, did I tell you about my plans for the road trip? I thought we should take two cars. I hope that's okay with you. Wait. Two cars? Not one? We're going to take my car and your car on the trip? Like we'll be driving separately? Exactly. I hope that's okay. Oh, sure? It's just that I thought, I thought since my car is pretty big that we'd all go together. Isn't this trip supposed to be about bonding as a mother-in-law and daughter-in-law? So I figured we'd have a car for the boys and a car for us girls. You're the one who came up with this road trip idea to improve our relationship. If it was a normal day, of course we'd all go together. But today is special, so we should drive separately. That way we could have some quality time and get to know each other better. I see. Well, I just talked to Brian. He said he forgot to mention that you said that. Sorry for the confusion. I'm looking forward to driving with you today. It'll be fun. And don't worry about driving. You can leave it all to me. Oh, no need to worry about that at all. I was actually planning on driving the whole way myself. I hope that's all right. All I ask is that you sit next to me and keep me company on the road. I have so many things I want to talk to you about. I don't know if we'll have enough time for everything. It's been ages since I've had a proper road trip like this, especially as the driver. I've been dying to show off my driving skills. Okay, sure. Thanks for driving the whole time then. I'm excited to chat with you too. No need to thank me. I love driving long distances. We're waiting for you guys outside our house in the driveway. We're all packed and ready to go. One hour later. Gwen, where are you? I can't find you anywhere in the gas station. I'm in the parking lot now, but you're nowhere to be seen. Neither is the car? Gwen, where are you? Oh, I'm so sorry. I must have zoned out. I totally forgot that you were with me. Are you serious? Sadly, yes. I'm not at the gas station anymore. I can't believe I forgot about you. Silly me. I just drove off to our next stop without checking. Right now, I'm at the highway rest stop. I guess my phone was silent, I didn't hear any of your calls. You've got to be kidding me. How could you just forget that you had me in your car? And where are Dustin and Brian? I haven't seen their car at all this trip. I've called them both several times too, but they never answer. Well, obviously Brian can't answer the phone while he's driving. And Dustin, now that you mention it, he usually takes a nap around this time. Maybe that's why he's not picking up. 
Wait. What is happening? I was only gone for a few minutes. I told you I was going to the bathroom real quick. What did you do? Oh, did you say that? I don't remember that. Why didn't you wait for me to come back before leaving? Even if you didn't hear me, how could you just leave me behind? I already told you. I just zoned out. Ugh, whatever. So, is Brian at the rest stop with you now? No. Brian and I are both competitive and like to race each other to the destination. That's just how we are. That's why you got left behind. I was so focused on beating Brian, I didn't think about you. So you just left, even though I wasn't in the car and never wondered where I was? Like I said, I didn't realize that you had gotten out of the car. It's your own fault for not driving anyway. That is such a load of crap. You didn't forget by accident. You left me here at this gas station on purpose, out of spite. Isn't that the truth? Well, maybe you're not entirely wrong about that. The truth is, I don't see you as family. Since you're not family, I don't care about you or pay attention to you. That must be why I never noticed that you weren't in the car and just kept driving. Maybe it's a bit harsh for me to say that, but it's the truth, and you need to hear it. My son deserves better than a parasite like you. Is that what this is about? Well, too bad for you too, but it looks like you won't have anything to eat for tomorrow. Huh? What do you mean we won't have anything to eat? Did you make a typo or something? Or maybe you finally snapped. I guess that happens sometimes. People get so scared that they lose their minds. No typo and no snap. I meant what I said and I'm perfectly sane. I know everything, Gwen. Every month Brian gives you money to support your lifestyle, doesn't he? How do you know that? How do I know? Brian and I are married. How wouldn't I know? I told Brian to keep this a secret from you. He betrayed me and disobeyed me? Anyway, I still don't get what you're trying to say. The fact that he gives me money has nothing to do with you or what you're talking about. Actually, it does. You see, I'm the one who's been giving you all that money this whole time. What? No way. Why didn't Brian ever tell me? Think about it from Brian's perspective, especially where he grew up. It wasn't very common for the wife to make all the money. He's ashamed to tell you. That's why he never said anything about how I'm actually the one supporting you guys. We've had to support you because you're so bad with money. I know your social security isn't much, but you can live on it. But I guess you can't because of your terrible spending habits? Well, if that's how you want to treat me, things are going to change. I'm going to stop supporting you guys financially, so that means no food for you, I guess. Stop right there. I don't believe that you're the one who's actually making all the money. If that was true, then you would know exactly how much he's been giving me. That proves you're lying to me. Oh, that's easy. It's $3,000 a month, right? What? You really do know? So you're telling me that all the money was from you this whole time? What kind of work do you do again? I've been pretty private about it until now. I'm on the management board at a big company. That's how I can make $400,000 a year. Brian and I are actually going to be parents soon too. Because of that, I probably won't be able to send you the usual $3,000 a month. By the way, do you know how much Brian makes? 
Wait a minute. Four hundred thousand dollars? And you're on the board of directors? Yap. That's right. I had no idea what you're saying is actually true, isn't it? It's the truth. Why would I ever lie about something like this? Why didn't you tell me sooner? Did I do something to hurt you or something? Oh, first things first. I'm turning around to come get you right now. Oh, there's no need for that. No, really? I'll come get you right now. I'm a bit far away, so it might take a while to get there, but I am coming. I'm sorry. Really? You don't need to do that. I just heard back from Brian. I told him everything that happened, and he's already on his way to pick me up. What? Where is he? Maybe I can still get there first. He's already on the way. There's no need for you to turn around. Oh, and by the way, our plans have changed. Brian and I are going home after he picks me up. What? Why would you do that? What about our hotel reservation? My five-star gourmet dinner? Gwen, you deliberately left me at a gas station while we were on a road trip. Because of that, I really don't think we can have fun on this road trip together. How could you? Do you have any idea how much I've been looking forward to this trip? You knew how excited I was about this road trip. How could you do this to me? Gwen, this is not my fault. It's all yours. Just so you know, Brian and Dustin are really angry with you over what happened. You better brace yourself for a long talk with both of them when you get back. This is unbelievable. You've ruined everything. My trip, my plans, my dreams. And not and now you have the nerve to get mad at me? Oh, come on. Can't we just let bygones be bygones and move on with our lives? You know, you're really stressing me out and you're constant whining. Maybe you need some discipline to calm you down. Discipline? Are you out of your mind? Well, you seem to like that word a lot. Remember how you always used to threaten me with it whenever you wanted me to do something for you? You wouldn't dare. What's gotten into you? Why can't you just drop it? It was a mistake. A mistake that you made on purpose. Don't play dumb with me. I have all the evidence right here in our messages. That was... It's not what it looks like. Don't you think that actions have consequences? Especially when those actions involve leaving me stranded in the middle of nowhere? And making me do all the work for this trip? Didn't I suggest that we visit some nice places? Well, we did. It's not what it looks like, I swear. I can explain. I didn't mean to. I was just stressed out by the travel. I wasn't myself. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Do you really think that I'm stupid and gullible? Do you think I can just forget what you did to me and pretend nothing happened? You're the one who loves discipline so much. Why don't you beg for me for a chance to make it up to me? Your husband seems to agree with me. He was the one who said we should cancel everything. You know how much money we lost because of that? But I don't care. It was worth it to teach you a lesson. Never mess with your daughter-in-law. How dare you talk to me like that? You have no right to treat me this way. You're supposed to respect me and listen to me. Now that's funny. Respect and listen to you. After what you did to me. 
The only reason I agreed to this trip was because I wanted to make you happy. And what did I get in return? You dumped me at the gas station and drove away. Did you really think I would still pay for everything? You've been so selfish and demanding lately. Shut up. You're the worst. Fine, I'll go by myself and stay at the hotel. I don't need any of you. Sorry, but that's not an option. The hotel has already confirmed the cancellation. But hey, feel free to find another place to stay tonight. Just don't expect us to help you with that. You're on your own. Why are you doing this to me? Why now? Don't they say that a smart person should always keep some tricks up their sleeve? Oh, by the way? And Dustin asked me to tell you something. He said if you don't get home before him, he's going to change all the locks on the house. Better hurry up then. Fine, I get it. I see how it is. I'll go home then. Is that what you want? Fine, just tell him I'm on my way. Three days later. Can I talk to you for a minute? I have something really important to tell you. I'm not busy. What is it? Well, actually, Dustin told me that I need to get a job and start working. I was wondering if maybe you could help me out. Sure, what do you need help with? And why did he say that? It doesn't sound like him. He said that I need to pay you back for all the money you spent on me. I can't believe it. Dustin didn't offer to help me pay it off. Oh, I see what's going on. He said that I can't use his savings, but that I have to work and earn the money to pay you back. Don't you think that's just plain mean of him? He said I have to pay back all the money you gave us too, even though he used some of it as well. Don't you think he should pay you back too? Oh, I think I get it. I don't think you're going to like what I have to say, but honestly, I agree with him. I don't think there's anything mean about it at all. How can you say that to me? How can you say that to someone who has never worked in her life, except when I was young and single? How fair is it for him to suddenly order me to get a job and earn money? It's ridiculous. It makes me mad. I think it just shows that what goes around comes around. You reap what you sow. You know, like karma. You brought this on yourself. But don't worry, I'm sure you can find a job and work hard. Why are you siding with him on this? That's not the only thing he said. He also said I need to make up for leaving you at the gas station. He said I should pay you an extra $5,000 for that. You can't really think that's fair. Isn't that awful? Well, it costs a lot of money to cancel everything that day. When you consider that, don't you think an extra $5,000 is reasonable? No. No way. I already have to pay you back for the fees. How is an extra five grand on top of that reasonable? Shouldn't you be on my side on this? That's what a daughter-in-law should do. I'm sorry, but I won't be on your side on this. I was the victim of the whole situation. I don't think it's normal for the victim to side with the perpetrator. Are you still holding a grudge over that? Haven't I apologized enough times for that? I said sorry, so how can you still think it's okay for him to demand that of me? Gwen, are you sure you meant to text me? Did you confuse me with someone else who usually listens to your complaints? Is that what you expect from me? You're gonna tell me all of that and then I'm going to agree with you and sympathize with you. Sorry, but in this situation, I have no reason to do that. 
To be honest, seeing you like this makes me happy. Why would you say that? It's not like you need the money. At a time like this, shouldn't you tell Dustin to go easy on me since you have plenty of money? You could say that and end this nonsense in a second. I know Dustin will listen to whatever you say, so come on, help me out here. Okay, fine. I'll talk to him. I'll tell him. I think it's a great idea to make you work. You're right though. I don't need the money, I have too much of it. Sometimes I don't know what to do with it all. But more importantly, I see it as compensation for all the horrible things you said and did to me. When I think of it that way, I think it's more fair. You're awful. Don't you think this is too much? I'm really sorry for what I did. Can't you just forgive me and let this go? You know, saying sorry is not enough to be forgiven. There are other things that matter too. Like making up for your mistakes. That's something you should really think about. I don't know when I'll be able to see you again without feeling angry and remembering what you did. I would never be able to relax around you if you don't make it up to me. Don't say that. Don't you know how hard it will be for me to get a job? I can't just start working at this age. Can't you see why I'm so upset about this? It's horrible what you two are doing to me. But isn't it you, Gwen, who did so many things to hurt me on purpose? If I recall correctly, the best kind of punishments are the ones that actually affect the person being punished. And since all you care about is money and luxury, having to work is perfect. I'm honestly impressed by Dustin's idea. He deserves a medal for that. Stop joking with me. This is ridiculous. Isn't there anything else I can do? If you can just forgive me and forget this one time. I promise from now on, I'll be as nice as possible. Please tell me there's another way to solve this. No, I don't think there's any other way. To be honest, I've had enough of you trying to be nice and build a relationship with me from now on. If you need something, please talk to Brian instead. I don't want to stay in touch like this anymore. You're kidding. Well, then good luck with your job search. Sorry, something came up. I have to go. Wait. You can't just leave in the middle of our conversation. You can't just ignore me like this and act like I don't exist. To repay the money she owed me, Gwen had no other option but to find a part-time job without much consideration. Unexpectedly, she started working at a local grocery store. One day, she happened to encounter her neighbor, to whom she had always boasted about how Dustin's income was sufficient for her not to work. When she realized that her neighbor had seen her working, she froze like a deer caught in headlights. Since then, it seems like they haven't even spoken once. She has become as quiet as a mouse when it comes to bragging. Moreover, Gwen hasn't made any attempt to contact me since our last conversation. Honestly, it has been quite pleasant not having her constantly bothering and belittling me. I had forgotten how happy I could feel.